I'm Daryl Goodman, Director of Achieve One for Achieve It Solutions. Today we're going to be reviewing the Quality Control Module within the Achieve One suite of applications for SAP Business One on HANA. Quality Control allows for the management and documentation of your quality assurance process within SAP Business One. Quality Control allows you to configure which documents you'd like to perform your inspections on. Here you can see the inbound documents such as the inventory goods receipt, a goods receipt purchase order, Inventory transfers, receipt from production, and sales returns are all configured and active to allow us to do inspections on those documents. You also have the ability to control doc inspections for outbound documents such as delivery. Parameter definitions allow you to configure as many, as many attributes as you'd like to be able to inspect. As you can see, this is a user-defined list allowing us to create a code, a name, the type of inspection, such as whether it's visual or numeric, as well as when it is a numeric inspection, the unit of measure that the numeric value should be retrieved. In. These parameters will later be used in the parameter mapping to link the actual inspections that will be used for an item. Rejected reasons allow us to determine the standardized codes for why an item was rejected. Here you can see we have an out of tolerance issue or a quality issue that was unrepairable. Parameter mapping allows us to configure on an item group or an item code, or even at the business partner level, the ability to determine what inspections will be done for a particular item. In this case, we're looking at a cover riveting, and we can see here that we want to do inspection on the goods receipt PO. We're looking to see if there's any dents in the finish, as well as measuring certain values to determine whether or not they're within tolerances. As you can see in the configuration, the item has the ability to have, the parameter has the ability to have a lower and an upper limit. So in this case, we're entitled to be able to go from 589 to 590 as well as being able to be configured with a variance. This variance percentage allows us to configure a tolerance range as opposed to an actual upper or lower limit, and they can also be used in conjunction. When it is a visual inspection, we have the ability to determine what the acceptable value is. So in this case, we're looking for no with respect to indents. And also how frequently I'd like to do the inspection, giving me the option to do it on every receipt, or I have the ability to determine that I want to do it at a certain percentage of the receipts, such as every five receipts. In taking the sample size, I have a similar functionality, giving us the ability to determine if I want to do a certain number, or I can do a certain percentage of the received. In this case, I'm saying I always want to inspect 100% of the received material. Finally, we can configure testing tools. The testing tools allow us to determine which devices are going to be used in the inspection process, as well as being able to track their serial number, their last calibration date, and the frequency in which they should be calibrated. Quality control is going to allow us to keep track of the inspections that need to be completed. And as we can see here, we have our inspections. As I go into an inspection, you can see here that this inspection gives me the ability to determine what the expected values, or sorry, the observed values are for each sample. Further, you can see that it's linked to a base SAP document, in this case, a goods receipt PO. And the goods receipt PO is just entered in your standard process. So what will occur is, is that you have the ability to receive the goods and with no extra work, it will automatically be detected that it requires quality assurance and transported from your warehouse, in this case warehouse 2, to your QC warehouse for processing. As you record the values, you'll see it will give you a visual indicator to determine whether or not an item has passed or failed. In this case, since there was dents, this failed the observed value requirement and we would require rework on this particular unit. As we go through and finish the values, you can see that as I configure each one, they fall out of range, they each turn red. On the other hand, a value that is accepted will stay white and you also have the ability to use the values in the middle so this falls between the range that's going to be within the 1% variance as I record this I also have the ability to determine which tools I actually used being able to add or delete the tools and indicating whether or not I did a calibration I can also include attachments such as photos or other documentation about the inspection that I've prepared lastly if I'm not the inspector I can also update to be able to keep track of who the inspector is as I add this it will tell me that I have uh, non-conforming attributes so that will be a fail, and it will send my document from pending inspection into requiring a disposition decision. As I look through the disposition decisions, you can see here that it keeps track of the values that I've entered and it is going to ask me what I'd like to do with it. I can accept it as is, I can do a partial exception, I can reject it, putting it into the rejection warehouse, or I can send it back for rework. When I send it back for rework, this will take the doc, move it into the rework warehouse, allowing me to perform the repairs that are required, and then set it up for a new pending inspection. Again, you have the ability to review the testing tools and the attachments, as well as being able to determine who's made the decision over the how to dispose of this item, and if we had rejected it, what the rejection reasons will be with remarks.
And finally, if we take a look at the inventory posting list for the item we were working on, we can see the quality control functionality and process. So you can see here, initially, we'd had a, a good receipt PO that brought the material in going into warehouse two. An inventory transfer occurred that takes the material from in warehouse two into the quality control warehouse. As we did the inspection and found that there was an item that had an issue, we were taking it from our quality control into our material review board warehouse. A disposition decision was made that required rework, so we took it from our material review board into the corrective action report warehouse. And finally, we took it from the corrective action, put it into quality control. And from quality control, since it passed, we were able to go ahead and accept it and return it back into warehouse two, making it available for consumption, either by sale or by a production order. That completes the quality control module.